what does not have high levels of integrity is this this drug facility. It's <laughs> terrible. It, you it's needed terrible. an engineer in here. Fix this up. L l this, okay, okay. Oh, so much waste. Oh, I can't even watch. What is this packaging? I don't give a shit what you oh. want to pay. I set the prices here. I'm the guy in all Detroit. You're gonna have to give me a volume discount. Not into discounts. This place, okay. I get it. <laughs> it's good. It's good that they've automated some stuff. So there's like you get past the human power. You can you can get things moving fast. But it's just it's just terrible. Okay, okay. Let's let's slowly here. So they have this these bottles, I, these flasks, mm -hmm. I guess, and they're so misaligned. Like line line this up so that everything's gonna go. This this one's good. This one's good. Mm -hmm. Nozzles right above the bottle. These two on the outside are misaligned. And what happens when they're misaligned? You get all the spillage. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Drug. It's so much spillage. That's like 30, 20, 30 percent of the powder. Like if it's cheap stuff that you don't care about, then whatever, throw it on the ground. But this is your. This is expensive stuff. This is your actual product. Like just, just, just engineer. Get an engineer here to get this thing designed nicely. And then not right. only that, but you get to this next station, or I guess the first station, the guy that's filling up the mm -hmm. station, and he he just it's just a dude with a scoop, mm -hmm. and he raises this this scoop above his shoulder. That's a repetitive stress injury. That's that's I mean, yeah. that's that's a lawsuit waiting to happen. Hey, what what are we doing here? Like, get get this guy get this guy like a platform he can stand on and then raise yep. this bucket this barrel up with a forklift and then put it up there so that way he's working in the ergonomic range that's below the shoulders maybe about the hips uh, or get a conveyor belt what are we doing right and actually i guess the if if this guy accidentally dropped it during transfer that's a lot of profits being lost that's a lot of drugs just straight up on the ground on the no ground good. yeah so Gosh, this really bothers me. Look how much spillage. Yeah, that's right. that's profits going out the window. Have right narrow the nozzle. Narrow the nozzle. Yeah, yeah. Make this into a finer tip and just insert it inside and then drop the yeah. drugs. Yeah. It's not like there's so much powder coming out that the throughput is excessive that they need the wider nozzle. They could narrow the nozzle and still get the same amount going through, I think. There's plenty of air. Absolutely. But also, what is this distance? Why are the drugs being dropped line. at all? Wait, wait, wait. But sometimes, oh, yeah. sometimes these bottles go up to the nozzle. This is this is this makes sense to me, right? right? Yep. The nozzles lined up with the lip, the lip of the bottle, and you get all the drugs mm -hmm. going inside. But sometimes the machine misfires and just drops it from here. Just just good luck. Whatever ends up in there ends yep. up in there. How are you going to make a consistent product? So so the time so there's there's alignment issues between mm -hmm. the top of the bottle and the nozzle. Mm -hmm. and then there's timing issues where they're releasing the powder before the nozzle and the the brim have met. Mm -hmm. It's just it's just an absolute shit show. I mean, don't do drugs, drugs are bad, but like if you're going make to. a good factory, make a good factory, make a deliver a high quality product. And this stuff. Oh, and then here, look at this look at this system for boxing it up. It's just stuff strewn all over the table, stoppers all over the table, stuff's going to get dropped. This isn't even a proper table this guy is using. These, this is like a folding car. This is like a poker table. These bottles are gonna. These bottles are gonna roll off. You're gonna get glass, glass and drugs all over the ground. People are gonna step on it. That's not good. Plus, if you want to do inventory, so people you can tell if people aren't stealing or not. This is just rife for stealing because you could slip one out of your pocket, no problem. Right. The because nobody's keeping track. Pocket. Yep, yep, yep. And if, and this if drug one of is the... potent, I imagine this drug's yeah. supposed to be potent. Yeah. Is this like a three month supply? Like you're handing out three months supply to people, like give them out little tiny little baggies. What are we doing? Yeah, I guess we don't know what drug this is, but that looks like a lot. It looks like a lot, I guess. I mean, yeah, maybe this is one dose. Like that's crazy. I don't know. Oh like God. it's like <laughs> Metamucil. You like stir it into you your stir. drink. <laughs> it helps you with regularity and gets you high. <laughs> and what is this? What is this PPE consistency? This guy no gloves. This guy no gloves. This guy gloves. Is is this stuff dangerous to your hands or not? Right. Or is your hands going to contaminate this the stuff? In which Are we case, worried about lose... fingerprints? These guys aren't worried about fingerprints. That's good fingerprints. There's all kinds of reasons to wear gloves. Why are they wearing gloves? And it's I a think disaster. okay. 
so so i've not i've never been to a cocaine processing factory but i've seen them on tv okay <laughs> i think these people are all supposed to be naked we're all supposed to be really? naked because then because then yeah because then you can't steal stuff you can't put stuff in your pockets and then also okay. you don't get this like this dust that's in the air that settles on your clothing and there's clearly dust we see from the mm -hmm. scoop like look here all this fuzzy mm -hmm. gray versus the dark gray of the, of the stairway like there's this this powdery stuff and you don't want that landing on your clothing because if you're going around you know out on the street in your clothing you got drugs in your clothing the cops are like hey why do you have drugs in your clothing all right i'm going to follow you to your work like that's you don't right. want cops following you into your workplace so it, it shouldn't be it's not like like a clean room but like an isolated room mm -hmm, mm -hmm. where you shower and reclothe going in and out is what you're what saying yeah, yeah, exactly. Or, or, or are given what are they called? The suits you bunny put suits, on? bunny suits, bunny suits. Exactly right. Mm -hmm. you, it's like this coverall, environmental hazmat typey thing that with white cover up. Yeah. And so, and then that way, the people's skin remains clean, their clothing remains clean, and so that way you like cover up your job, your drug operation, so you don't get caught. So they got problems all over the place. They got waste. They don't have an engineer on the case. They got inventory problems. They got PPE problems. And plus, they're going to get caught because they're going to have cocaine all over their clothes when they go outside or whatever this is. Whatever this is. Yeah. Yeah. Weird. I do like these boxes, though. So these boxes, there's clearly already mm -hmm. packaging tape. Mm -hmm. And it's just been cut open. But I think these boxes are the boxes in which these bottles are shipped in. So huh. reuse, recycle. Pretty good. Yeah. So, okay, so they buy the flasks from a legitimate supplier, mm -hmm. Amazon Amazon's box, yep. Yep. and then they, they give them out to the, the street in the same flasks, and the cops are not tracking oh, shit. the orders. <laughs> yeah, right. like, There's a like, massive order for these flasks. The exactly. <laughs> Going to this work. <laughs> but Gosh. maybe it's coming from, I mean, maybe the flask orders are cleaned. Laundered through some company. Mm -hmm. How would you get around that? I guess you could have artisanal glass blowers in your place. <laughs> like each glass is <laughs> custom made, custom handmade, and unique. Yeah, that'd be that'd be a cool selling point, actually. Right? Oh yeah. I guess you could have you could have like a real company, like a front company that's actually delivering legitimate product in this, and mm -hmm. then ten percent of them go off into the drugs. But still, then the cops would be like, well. Who's a, who's a big user of these? I'll go check them out. These are so unique looking. That's right. You really want a, like a more standard bottle and a high volume bottle. Like when you go to like a Mexican restaurant, little, little glass bottles of Tabasco or like Tapatio. Mm -hmm. There it is. You use those. There it is. Because it's totally legit reason for why you'd have a bunch of Tapatio glass bottles. That's right. You order enormous amounts of hot sauce for some reason. Oh, I meant get the Tapatio people in involved in it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you got. Yeah. <laughs> Why would you have an enormous amount of? Like, it's like a normal person. Like I just like hot sauce on everything in individual bottles. 